Hey team, it's the you back with uh, Nick at Toy Foo once again. We're doing the old uh, pre-TFN stock check, and uh, things have gone slightly bananas in this house, even by Toy Foo standards. This is uh, this is an absurd quantity of stuff, and <laughs> I can't wait to dig into it. So um, let's do the standard thing. Nick, would you like to tell the folks what Toy Foo is and uh, how it works and where uh, where the cash will be going? Sure thing. Hello, I'm Nick from Toy Foo. Uh, we started in 2009 and we sell toys uh, to raise money for the children's charity Mary's Meals. Uh, we've sent them over £100,000 since we started and we're hoping to raise another bundle at uh, TFN this year. We did very well at uh, Manchester in March. Uh, I was concerned about uh, rebuilding our stock after that because as I said, we, we shifted more than half of what we brought with us, which is amazing. And uh, there's no problem with that because... Clearly not. We have like an architectural quantity of Combiner Wars over here. <laughs> so yes, head on down to uh, TF Nation this year. That's the 11th to 13th of August. Uh, and dip on into the Toy Foo stand and uh, of course the other excellent retailers in the uh, gigantic retail hall. You've never seen anything like it, unless you have. Grab yourself a bargain and support uh, feeding the uh, kids in the world's poorest countries. Fancy that. And also you get sweet robots out of it. Without further ado, shall we dig in? Why not? Yeah. We are, as always, absolutely brimming with robots. The house is completely bloated with stock. But let's begin, I suppose, with Combiner Mountain over here. An army of combiners! So what's the story here? Are all these, uh, all these ready to rock or what? Uh, most of them are complete. Some of them are missing one or two bits, which is not ideal. We'll try and get those completed for next year. But all the complete ones we'll try and have available in August. Quick count up. We got Baldigus, two of those, uh, Megatronia, uh, they've got the Skylinks guys, Computron, two of those, <laughs> couple of Brucuses, Gran Galvatron, uh, the Optimus Prime set, Menasaur and Superion, that's basically all the combiners, right? Multiple um, G2 Superions, couple of Computrons here, four Leo Kaiser sets, four G2 Menasaurs, couple of Victorions and uh, Bruticus, is that? Yeah, yeah Bruticus. Yeah. And along with the combiners, we have upgrade kits for basically all of them. Um, from for Volcanicus there, who I didn't see in the stack, but we still have the gear. Oh yeah, oh, we've got loose ones upstairs as well. There's a whole, there's two turkey boxes full of combiner teams as well as the, the gift sets. Um, previous owner of this collection, very much big on the combiners. Power of the Primes as well. Yeah. Um, if you like the bonus, that's good because we've got three sets of Abominus now, including um, enough Ripper Snappers to make one that is just Ripper Snappers. Wow. I think he's the only one I saw on shelves. What's in this crate, Nick? This is a smattering of generations that uh, I haven't fully sorted yet. Uh, we've got, well, this box over here is just unsorted accessories. So I've got bags and bags of Possibly unidentifiable and what? This is this chunks. Is just the Energon weapons that oh, I haven't yeah. assigned to people. Superion's um, feet and that. Separate unaccountable accessory bag for basically every line. Pretty much. So <laughs> I'll get as much of that done as I can before August. No guarantees. Bock on clench, that's a beastly creature. Get him out of silhouette mode. Oops, Bock on clench, already spoken for you say. Ah, so. oh, it's gonna happen, isn't it? A few novelties in here, so there's Cloud Starscream. Whoa! Is an unusual one? This is the um, the Bumblebee movie banter where Starscream was Blitzwing. Hmm. <laughs> Accessory bags, I think, belong to most of the things in here. Yeah, good um, God. I see the, you. The fusion cannon from uh, the, one of the Japanese. Oh, um, that's. Oh no, is that the three pack? That's the Wolf of Cybertron something? video game. Gamer Edition, before Gamer Edition. That was the Springer repaint from, I want to say, 2009? Um, it, was, it was in like a two-pack. Probably. <laughs> I want to say he came with Rat Bat, but I think we had that chat last year, and I don't know. Is this the regular Hasbro release? It looks a bit paler, I, maybe? I don't know. It, if it is the Hasbro release, it's in great shape. Ooh. My one's a bit... I, I think mine might be sun-faded, because that, that's a particularly pretty... Deluxe Megatron, very good. <gasps> is that Generation Sandstorm? Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, he's borrowed something from uh, what follows Air Raid. That's fine. <laughs> Get that down. Yeah, that's a yeah. wonderful toy. Didn't it emerge recently that rather than Springer being the uh, original, that was the original and Springer was the repaint? That's right. Yep. I Lip think Roche so. Design Sandstorm and uh, Hasbro uh, birthed Springer from that. 
crazy. Hey, Ugh. Dirge. Uh, that's Legends Black Arachnia, I think. Yep. Very I've got nice. Her, um, grappling hook thingy. It's in somewhere else, and she has intact elbows, which is unusual. I'd oh, love to hear it. Uh, and ah, this is um. Tread Bolt. Tread Bolt, yes, I bought him from you last year. Excellent. Him. And now someone else can. Hell yeah. As soon as I find this other launcher. It's in here. It's on one of the bags, I think. Yeah, there's his backpack. Oh, there you go. I think we're laughing, yeah. Okay, I think we get it. You know, general chug stuff. The sort of bedrock of the good chug years. I see a lilac Galvatron there, now that I've said it's all good stuff. <laughs> that, that's the, see, shiny Henke version. Oh yeah, Henke. Yeah, Very nice. Fun. It's an improvement, but it's still a still a weird one, that, but that's a good version of it. Shiny chrome abs. Can't argue with that. Hell yeah, very Unicron. Goes well with this one. That's the uh, that's the multi-pack Cyclonus, I think, because it's got the uh, rub sign. And, and there's, there's the other one. Brilliant. All right, great. Let's, uh, I mean, we've got a lot of stuff to chew through, so shall we, uh, <laughs> shall we say we get the vibe of that pack? Sure. Wicked. So these are the legendary turkey boxes, which hold... Like the core of the Toifu experience. This is definitely more than one stand's worth, isn't it? This is like a couple of years worth of stock here. Before we acquired this collection, we definitely had enough for August. Right. Now we probably have enough for the next show and possibly the one after as well. So this could feasibly stand us until next August. Christ. All going well. Not to say that uh, donations aren't welcome. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, if you have. Uh, Part of your collection you need to sell as well, by all means get in touch, we'll see what we can do for you. Let's get a quick taste of what lays within the uh, turkey boxes, these are three of the main ones. Uh, looks like a lot of G1-esque stuff here. We've got um, Iron Fist, looks like a complete hard head. Uh, G2 Megatron, Thunder Clash, my boy! Cyber Jets. Oh nice. Many Cyber Jets, including some form of knockoff. What is that? Yeah, that ain't official. <laughs> and that's one of the Robot Masters. Oh, you kidding? So, not easy to come by, the old Robot Masters uh, toys are under here, I think. We've <gasps> got laser rods. Whoa, are we really going to skip over the GoBots like that? <laughs> Hair fiend, let's Sorry, go. Zemon, Erector, I think I see, is that Drench? Or Rage, or one of those guys? Drench. Drench, is it? I think that's Drench, yeah. Sweet. We have other ones, they do have their guns. He doesn't, unfortunately, but the others do and will uh, come amongst. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Hello. This is a uh, road rocket, is it? Road pig? Road pig, I think it's a Deceptron one. God, that's awesome. This is very, um, sort of motorcycles are coming back now with Legacy, so. God, that's actually really lovely. Can I take this home? Thanks. <laughs> Pyro as well. Yep, Very unbroken, as far as I can tell. Difficult to come by a non-snapped one. Mm -hmm. You know Toy Fu has got the good gear. Reveltech Magnus as well. Just chilling. Crushed under yeah. GoBots. I got it. My favourite Metallica song. Beast Wars slash Machines slash R.I.D. Sort of turn of the millennium. That's the vibe. Box. Uh, Sideburn. Hello, mate. Uh, we got two versions of Build King here? Yep, that is the Universe Decepticon uh, Colours version that was only available through, I want to say, Target. God. And also the All Yellow Construction Squad as well. The other one is in here somewhere. These are... Yeah, quite pretty. Yeah, that's really neat. Oh, speaking of pretty, under here we've got a Flash Leo Convoy. He was a hard one to get. He was only available if you bought one at the cinema when you went to see the Beast Wars second movie. You're kidding. Wow, so is it actually called Flash Leo Convoy, or is it just, it looks Flash? No, it is Flash Leo Convoy. It's based on his final attack, where he and Optimus Prime will glow with newfound energy to take on Majin Zarak, who's like a walking aircraft carrier dinosaur thing, which is strange and never made a toy of. Standard. This is very normal anime behaviour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to say, uh, oh, that's Beast Machine Skydive, right? Yes. Yes. There's also a universe uh, repaint, which we have two of now. Green and orange, isn't it? Yeah, he's, I don't think he's in this one. We'll find him in of course. I see a little yeah. cyber shark. I see um, slightly sun faded Midnight Express there, but we have the uh, Rail Racer Gang. Yep, we've got the Japanese and the Western version. Beautiful. Uh, equally, sadly, both been on the holidays, uh, so they're all <laughs> rather yellow. Um, but they are here and they are intact, which is more than you can say for a lot of Rail Racer squads, especially the Japanese one, because they had a lot of rivets run through. Translucent plastic. Oh god, and yeah, I remember uh, Rail Spike, isn't it? He's notorious for that. 
Um, reverse Convoy, right? I know that's uh, Destructive Arms. Uh... Bludgeon. Bludgeon, of course. We, sadly, we don't have a reverse convoy. I haven't seen one in a long time, actually. That was right at the tail end of the Robot Masters Battle Unicorn. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, only available through BBTS, I think, who had them for years because they bought Hasbro's entire stock when they didn't distribute them. <sighs> Crazy. Oh. Uh, Magmatron or similar? Sneaky uh, <gasps> Tiger Hawk in there. Hello, sir. <laughs> remarkably, for this collection, uh, not sun damaged. Stunning. This one managed to stay in the shade. So we've got Tiger Hawk, uh, we've got a Magmatron. Magna Boss. Magna Boss. Yeah. And yes. right under Magna Boss is a that is, um, Machine Wars Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Sadly, no local blades. Oh, are you kidding? But uh, he is he is a vibe. This is an interesting zone of Transformers, this. I always love digging into this stuff. Oh, yeah. Always will see. Oh, and this guy is, I think, the... Um, Beast Machine the Dinobots repaint of <laughs> Saberback. Saberback. Yeah, so he's a tricky one to come by because of the gold uh, outer shell, but he seems to be in one piece. Yeah, I have the normal version and he's flimsy enough. <laughs> so seeing one of those intact is uh, quite a sight. Hell yeah. Are these vinyl tech? Uh, these are alternators. Okay. There's a lot of vinyl tech in here. Yeah, so check it out. Uh, this is vinyl tech shockwave, laser wave rather. <laughs> Alternators, uh, some classics here. You know him. Grimlock Swindle, Dead End. RC, from right at the end of the line. Cool. Uh, a tricky one to come by. That's, uh, uh, that's the wind charger, but in a beautiful white. And can I see the underside there? Sure. Oh, look at that. Baby pink. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. Is that Alternator's uh, Starscream there? That is Alternity. Alternity, yeah, that's the word I was after. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Cliff Jumper here and multiple Banzai Trons. Oh, multiple, uh, no less. Multiple Banzai Trons. Hey. We have the boxes for them. They are all in robot mode, and if you want to put them in the box, you'll have to put them back in car mode, and uh, the buyer can do that themselves. Yes, <laughs> the challenge. <gasps> is that roll bar? Yes. Wow, I've never seen that in life. Uh, <laughs> God, this... That's not Kiss Players, is it? No, that's the Western version. Okay, pretty yeah. nice. I think Hello, him, mate. him and uh, Nemesis Prime were uh, exclusives at San Diego Comic Con one year. Far out. Titanium Jetfire. Yeah, it just sort of made sense to put him in with the other diecast guys. He's a little floppy, but uh, we can sort him out. There he goes. One Very... of the better Titaniums, I think. Yeah, for sure. Very Cyclonus-y vibe. Ooh. Deceptor yeah. Charge. <laughs> this must be every alternator. It's not far off. Uh, I don't see a... Is that Rumble? Yes, yep, Rumble down Rumble. there. And we've got both versions of uh, Ravage. Alternative Black Convoy. Alternative Black Convoy. Very pretty. And I noticed a uh, Titanium Ultra Magnus, which I don't believe I've ever seen either. Looks real good in white and blue, actually. It's, yeah, it's not bad. There's Mirage. Oh, Mirage. It's your boy. Mm. And Stepper. Hello, yep. mate. What a selection. Okay, we're stacking them up, baby. We have the uh, Transformers animated box. I want to say there's a lot of love returning to this, but did it ever leave? <laughs> Absolutely. So we finally got our uh, very rare Samurai Pro. Love um, that guy, yes. I don't know if it's just bad luck on our part, but we really struggled to get these. Got Japanese Rumbly. Hey, oh, shiny nice. gold lad. Hey, Shockwave, nice. That's a great figure. Hey, Blazing Lockdown. Blazing Lockdown. And Vanilla, if you so desire. Okay. <laughs> Blazing Lockdown and uh, Vaping Lockdown. Megatron there, leader class Megatron swoop, chilling on top. Purple um, Snarl, what's that the crack is, there? Um, TF Adventures, that Takara exclusive line that was all repaint. Yeah. They had the black and red swoop as well. I think we have one of those somewhere. Currently placed, but oh, sorry. Can I check him out? Yeah, I've, I've, I've not seen this. Uh, I haven't seen this before. That's my that's my uh, catchphrase at the Toy Fu HQ. <laughs> that's really cute. It's got um sort of Age of Extinction vibe with the the toy line because all those Triceratopses were purple. Speaking of which, here's the swoop. <gasps> oh, there you go. Very cute. Very wind bladey. God, that's awesome. Actually, yeah, nice. Unusually unbroken set of safeguard. Jetfire and Jetstorm. Yeah, they're, they're um, notoriously quite fragile lads, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Was that the Legends Bumblebee? Uh, I believe it is. Come here, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was the Universe Legends animated Bumblebee. That's uh, an unusual thing to spot. Extra Bumblebees, Blur, Sentinel Prime, Oil Slick, the gang's all here, baby. Retgar, I see. This might be every animated toy. It's not far off. You said there was something weird in there, so let's do the uh, the box of strafes first. <laughs> that is the most strafes I've ever seen. Yes, uh, the previous owner of this collection did have their favourites. Obviously, they've gone ham on uh, Generations uh, 
Scourge. Yeah, it's a Scourge as well. Yeah. Uh, but they also took the time to get the original Senator on that back. Very uh, nice. Unfortunate timing there with the... Uh, oh yeah, the Voyager one just came out. But it's still lovely. I can vouch for that toy. That's it's a gorgeous lad. Various flavours of Ball of Cybertron uh, Briticus. Yeah. As you do, pretty much every iteration, including the records. Oh, Ruination. So you can see, yep. So there's a couple of sets of Ruination in here. Very nice. Also, I think... Mm-hmm. Wreckers fans will be enthused about that. We've also got the Japanese version with the shiny paint. Very nice. Yeah, that looks that looks good off the yes. bat. Which Armada Megatron is that? Combiner Wars? Yeah. Cool. Oh, speaking of Windblade, there she is. That's the uh, original Generations Windblade. Mm-hmm. Real cute lady. I wonder, what, wonder where she went. She kind of got subsumed by Elite One, didn't she? We have one, two Pterodives. I think I see a Grimlock chest oh, yeah. plate in there. Yep, that's, that's a very chromey one. Yep, that, I think that's from one of the twin packs, or more than meets the eye style skids under there. Oh yeah, and skids cross-cut, lurking uh, underneath. Crosscut, also a bit of a favourite with the previous owner of this collection. Yeah. Uh, as there are probably four or five. Full of Cybertron Blaster, very um, easy to miss that one. That's a banger. I like him. He's, he's my blaster, essentially. I found the combined, the, not combined ones, the Titans Return one was a bit big. Yeah, yeah. I quite like the Legacy one, but it doesn't have the zazz of the uh, Fall of Cybertron boy for me. That's a, that's a charming, charismatic toy. Cool, so lots of 2011-ish generations gear. Love to see it. We know where we're We do. What's in there, Nick? Um, Botcon Double Punch. God, look at that. Flattened as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's portable mode. Yeah. Double punch, what a thing. That's Energon Scorponok, isn't it? Yes. Uh, Stunning. And uh, there is a box upstairs that is mostly various different versions of Energon Scorponok. There's one Super Link Megazark. Whoa. In Japanese colours. Yeah. There's several Energon Scorponoks and several Dark Scorponoks, which I think were from Cybertron. The planet key in the tail. I couldn't tell you. It's rare enough to see one in that shape, let alone stumbling up on five at once. Or better or worse, here's Energon Superion with the... Um, Fans Project Upgrade Kit. Oh yeah, maybe we remember of, it well. Yeah, maybe of interest to fans of the period. <laughs> so that's uh, Megatron, so... Megatron and um, Galaxy Force Master Megatron. Gosh. Uh, you can tell the difference by the subtle change to the colour of the lilac. It's a little bit lighter. There's more contrast in those purples. Ah, the teal as well. The teal is a more flat, upper, more metallic on this one. Oh, so it is, yeah. Look at the, Look at them shine. But that is a stunning toy, uh, Megatron. I fully, <laughs> fully endorse everybody buying five of those each. Wonderful thing. Oh, of course, we've got Cybertron Defense uh, Scattershot, who was not distributed in the UK, I think. That wave missed us. We've got a lot of repaints. Yeah, well, but all that... the repaints in Universe and stuff. I mean, here's one right now. Hey, it's my boy! Uh, Drop shot! Yeah. There's a green one as well, whose name presently escapes me. Overload. Cool. Yes. Yeah, we've got a couple of those and a couple more of these as well. Uh, I see Energon Sharkticon. Yep. I see uh, Demolishor, Hot Rod, Tied Up. Why is he tied up? Ah, that's because he's part of the Energon monster. The... This is the <laughs> Energon monster. <laughs> I'm sorry. As I said, <laughs> the previous owner was... <laughs> Very much a combiner fan. Sorry, I never laugh like that. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, this takes me back to the pre-Combiner Wars days. Ultra Magnus in there with some kind of multi-bot power suit. Two iron hides, two cliff jumpers, two hot rods. The best part is the uh, the pelvis and thighs are made from two Power Links Energon jet fires. Now, Energon Jetfire, hard enough to come by. Power Link's version. When I, was the last time you saw one? I have never seen that. When was the last time I saw one? Yeah. It's unavoidably very penisy here, but... <laughs> I think they had to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. We don't know who did this, but I salute you, my friend. The stuff of mid-2000s forum dreams. I think we have our thumbnail. So, will this remain intact, or are we going to have to disassemble it? I think due to the value of the individual components, we're going to salvage as much as we can and sell them, them separately. Fair enough. Let's do what we can with Ultra Magnus. There's also been in his holidays, and you can see there's oh, quite, dear. Some, quite some contrast on the, uh, yeah, the other sunburn sections. He's gone a bit Dijon mustard. Quite a sight, and also quite a stash of bots. What's the back of his shins? Is that smokescreen? That is... Hoist? Energon, 
uh, Energon, Energon Inferno, the uh, the grapple iteration right. of Inferno, who also very hard to come by. Please pardon the placement of my right hand; it's the only place I can really, uh, to hold this up. Sometimes you got a cuppa, bro. The string as well is quite a feature. You know this came from somebody who had a vision. I love it. <laughs> Moving on! Whoo! We find ourselves in the garage with uh, yet more gear. What's the deal with this shiny? Sorry, my, my eye has been drawn to this. That is Tiger Track. Oh, that's the legit Tiger Track. I think so. Oh, God, there's more up there! Oh, yeah. <gasps> uh, <laughs> Star Saber, we've got Convoy. Black Rodimus Convoy, that's the one with the sweet blue uh, shield, isn't it? Yes, and the exploding knees, both of which have, of course, exploded. Oh, great. So we have a damaged Rodimus Convoy, but aren't they all? Combiner Wars Devastator. Oh, yeah. Combiner Wars Devo. Titan's um, Trypticon. Yep. What's that up there? Some Creo? Ah, the that's old... <laughs> the attempt at Lego. Megatron. Starscream and Megatron. Megatron. Christ. Remember when that was like 70 quid? Looking at it now, I kind of want to have a go on that. Because, um... Bayformers is retro now. <laughs> so that is actually uh, an interesting item. Somebody will have a lot of fun with that. Amazon Unicron. <gasps> um, I'm going to confess something. I really want that. Okay. Yeah, I would I would love to have a go on that. That's right. Tell us more about this. <laughs> uh, this was a repaint of a Mario Unicron. Yeah. After the 1986 movie iteration. It is not currently in here. Uh, oh. But Okay. That's awesome. Very nice. Hey, cool. Yeah. God, that's that's awesome, actually. <laughs> and the figure is in the Supremes boxes with one of these lads with the yellow tape on them down at the bottom of that stack. Okay. So we can unearth them before you leave. That's all right. I believe you. I mean, we've got enough other stuff to look at here. Uh, Jolt and Volt, two of the uh, laser rods from G2. <laughs> Far out. Sealed. Wow, they're, they're in like little presentation cases. Ooh. Those are great. Encore, Optimus Prime. He's got the smokestacks on. So it's not one of those lame -o Western re-releases where they uh, chopped it off. Cartoon Colors Galvatron. Ooh. This is an original late face, as far as I can tell. Uh, wow. Dazma is inside the cockpit. Um, so he's, he's in there. He yeah. should be in his little box, but he's in the uh, yeah. in the craft. So oh yeah, you can see him. This was apparently 17.99 back in the day. <laughs> those were the days. Mm -hmm. We can't honour those prices anymore, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Encore Jazz. Yep. Lovely stuff. Nothing wrong with a bit of Encore. You want good condition G1 stuff, reissues of where it's at, basically. Actually, if you want uh, good condition G1 reissues, then uh, you'll be surprised to learn what's in this box. Is it some Transformers? Yeah, it is some Transformers. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so here we go. Reissues right to the bottom. Christ. <laughs> Starstream. Next screen. Stepper? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Dirge's weird box art without the cone head. <laughs> this is the real stuff. Is that Megatron? Yep. It's gotta be. Double box. Nah. Oh yeah, you got the guy and then the whole headstock and everything. Mm -hmm. Headstock's not guitar for you, come on. Perceptor. Yep. Ooh, Sound Blaster. Yep. Nice. Ah! Tracks and Grapple. Hoist. And yet more skids, hoist as well. Prowl and another inferno. Uh, and no. there's more. How how deep does it go? All the way, baby. Jazz red alert. This this has to be approaching the whole set. Hound. Hound. Target That's um. Target master. Hot rod. Blitzwing. And <laughs> white Astro Train. Yes, the White and Astro Train. The set of Insecticons with the Energon Cubes and Soundwave and Laserbeak. And yes, go. the White Astro Train. You know what I want to see. Oh, so gorgeous. That is stunning. Argent Meister. So that's. Um, uh, Argent. Oh, okay. So that's uh, Jazz in Silver. Silver Jazz. That's uh, Grimlock, for anyone who hasn't had enough final-type Grimlock. Ugh. Um, Dead-end swindle and... Dead-end swindle. I'm sorry to make you unpack all these. To be fair, I didn't ask you to. Uh, Car Robots Brave Maximus. Car Robots Brave Maximus. This is the big stuff stack. Mm -hmm. I see Omega Supreme. Yep, all got the issue. I see uh, Legends Trypticon. Yep. Fort Max. Big sword. He's got the sword. Yep. Ah, amazing. Uh, Alternative... Uh, is that Jazz? Optimus Prime? That's... Uh... 
One of them. Dame Wayne's Atrophine, your favourite. Oh, I love that toy. That's one of my favourite toys. <laughs> Legitimately, I love that thing. Uh, drift? Which Drift is that? Oh, that's a uh, combo pack. Oh, oh it's... Uh, that's some jazz. Hey, from, cute. Uh, the guy told me Adventures, I believe. Yeah. Adventures, Adventures was alright, man. That's a cool Drift. Look yeah, at that guy. There's a lot going on. Sexy. Masterpiece Blue Blue Streak. We have Bumblebee and some cassettes as well. Tracks. Um, Low pedal. Loud pedal, hell yeah, the black tracks. Black tracks, lovely. And uh, exhaust. Leo Prime. Leo Prime. Is that the Alpha Trion mold? Yes. Yeah. Some kind of Teletran 1 set? Some Is this. Kind of uh, early sub party add on pack for People's Arc. Yeah. Have. I guess so, for like the classics Optimus with the trailer, that sort of era. Uh, we have some kind of collector set of G2 Fall of Cybertron Bruticus. Yep, 25th Ooh. anniversary, uh, VF1J. Wow, the sort of, the one that would go on to be Jetfire. Or something like that. This one has the sort of little camera head. Oh, that's so cool, um, man. Bombs. Macross kind of has its own vibe, doesn't it? Very much so. It's, uh, it's, it's Transformers adjacent, but it is very much its own thing. And that is, uh, that's a lovely item. And if you come one inch closer to it, Harmony Gold will sue you out of existence. <laughs> Let them come. Is that a bag of Viacons? Uh, yes, that is the box of Viacons. There's uh, 15 in here. <laughs> 15 <laughs> prime Viacons yeah. chilling in a carrier bag. Oh, yeah. No shortage if anyone needs one or two to fill out their prime display. Uh, some kind of Predator King. Did you say this was a knockoff Feral Rex? Uh, there's two oversized knockoffs of Feral Rex in there. One in regular colours, one in Nero Rex colours, which is black and purple. Oh, of course, okay. yeah. The, um... The goth version. This big box down here, that is a a complete Studio Series Devastator. Yes, Studio Series 69, because they know their audience. Who? <laughs> Combiner Wars guys, who we got? Um, I'm seeing Alpha Bravo in there, a couple yep. of Alpha Bravos. I get Prime, First Edition Optimus. Oh, nasty. First Edition Voyager Optimus. First Edition Megatron is around here somewhere as well. Ken Zan, is that Transformers Go? Yep. Sweet. Bit of Beast Machines action there. Is that b the big jet storm? That's the big jet storm. Nice. Uh, masterpiece Road Rage. And oh, yeah. Clamp Down. <gasps> Clamp Down, nice. And uh, Iron Hide. And oh, eh? that's uh, the Cattle Legend Slug Slinger. Hey, brilliant. And I've just clocked this as well Runabout and Runamuck from Earthrise. Surprisingly scarce um, couple to complete. Punch counter punch. Uh, Got a couple of those. This is the uh, the one that's the iteration from uh, Universe Sideswipe. That's that one. We've also got the yeah. Titan Return one. Oh, sorry, Power of the Primes one, which is here. Final oh. Asterisk Rob Blast. Whoa, cool! Final Tech Asterisk. Yeah. I've not seen that one before. Oh, said it. The yeah. other punch counter punch. There it is. Prime of Justice. Whoa! Yep, that's You're kidding? E Hobby. Iteration of Laser Rod Optimus Prime. <gasps> That's stunning. It's yeah. very Ultra Magnus y vibe. Yes, very much so. Good God. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I love that. Wow. We have a whole complete boxed countdown as well. This is truly the good stuff, my friend. I think that is the DX9 version of Galvatron. And I think it's just advertising. Oh, so it is. Yeah, they've got Scourge on the side, Unicron on the top. But it's actually Galvatron. Long term uh, toy food customers might recognise this from our very first stall in 2009. Yeah. This is, was this the um, yeah collector's club version of Piranacon? Yep. Very strange colours, yeah. but uh, kind of sick actually. <laughs> so this is Beast Wars second uh, uh, hardhead, who's a pachycephalosaur, Neo, and I think. Beast Wars Neo is it? Cool. So and they got a bit more weird by Neo. God, they sure did. So who's this swordfish fella? Uh, Sharp Edge, I think he was actually one of the main Maximals because I saw him in the um, a montage of all the transformations oh. that used in Beast Wars Neo against all the flashy backgrounds and he was one of them alongside characters like Longrack and uh, Bump and Break and Gosh, so he's actually he's one a, of the gang. He's, he's actually he's, in the show and everything. He's one of the, one of the chaps. A truly bizarre and rare item. Yeah. Pachycephalosaur versus Sea Monster. Yep. Love to see it. And this is one of the sets that didn't get a release in Korea through Sonicon. Oh! So if you want these two, uh, the only option is the Takara release. It's got to be this one. No variants. He's purple. I love that. Yes, the original Masterpiece Starscream in his more fighter jet colours yes. when it was uh, it was real world over um, retro. <laughs> 
since I wrote that post-it note, I have located the null rays, uh, the flight stand and the missiles, but I think he's still missing a gun port from one side, which is a terrible shame. He's got one bit missing, yeah. but he'll do the trick. He'll sort you out. Yeah. Oh, Oculus Max Inferno. That's uh, one of the good ones. Oh, yeah. For sure. I have the Art Fire, and it's pretty good. I don't even like Art Fire. It's a good toy. So, so that's the garage. We're nowhere near done. Bro, you live like this? <laughs> is this your actual collection? Yes. Ah, oh, these aren't for sale. This is the part of it this year. Oh, I remember that. Didn't Matt make that you one? Yes. Make that you one. That's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> the Iron Brew Optimus. I love that. Birthday present this year. <laughs> Stunning. Oh, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. That's so good. Yeah, he did me that blue warpath as well. I love that guy, he's so nice. Freshy Armada box? That's the Sands Club Starscream, is it? Mm hmm Yeah, cool. Kind of goldy vibes. Who's that? Is that a Mirage? That is Dreadwing. Dreadwing? Yeah, that was the repaint. God, that's awesome. Yeah. Whoa. I think it got a, a UK release. I certainly haven't seen it before. That's, that's friggin' lush. Who else? We've got Thunderblast there. Yeah. Uh, Mudflap, very underrated toy. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the Grimlock? Energon Grimlock? Yeah, it is. I think I see an Energon Tidal Wave down there. Yep. Starscream with Thunderblast. Two of those. <laughs> Energon Constructicons, we've got, I think there might be every iteration of those because they came out in Universe and in Dark of the Moon. Yeah, there was one of those around that time, wasn't there? And there's RC down the bottom there, red red. Oh, oh, yeah, there she is. There you go. And who's this? Oh, that's that... Cybertron Jetfire. Oh, sick! Yeah, he Amazing. Was a, he was a pain in the bum to get. I don't think he was well distributed in the UK if he came out at all. Mm. I think he might have been like a second wave dude, and the second wave tend to do poorly in the UK. There was a lot of the um, the Allspark Power, the white version, but oh, I, yeah. I've never seen the, the green one in the flesh, I don't think. Yeah. Certainly not available. Dark Crumple Zone, all that good Cybertron stuff, Metroplex, Battle Ravage, six shots. Yeah. Er. Bad lads. The movie verse. We have. I think. I think I see Dark Steel there. Hell yeah. Uh, we've got Gears, the Stockade repaint. A couple of different RCs. I think that's the first movie and the second one. Breacher. Hell yeah. <laughs> Multiple sunspots. <gasps> Human Alliance Barricade. Yep. Mother lover. Couldn't help but notice Jetfire. Yeah. I don't think we have that missing panel, unfortunately, because I did find the rest of his accessories yesterday. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure we can find a replacement panel somewhere. All right, we'll have a go. Night Watch Optimus Prime. Yep, with intact smokestacks. Yes, God, that's a gorgeous thing. Very um, underrated at the time, I think. But um, in retrospect, as a novelty, that truly is a stunning creature. What is that green thing? Oh, that's the, the uh, two-pack Mixmaster. Yes, of course. Yeah, not recommended for transformation. Uh, no, uh, it's a, a horrible pain in the ass, but it looks cute. Yeah. Camaro B. I think we're vibing. Oh boy, this is a surprise. How many stockades am I seeing here? Four or five? In that ballpark, yeah. Uh, wreckage and the green wreckage. Yeah, big fan Several of, of him. One of the uh, Japanese um, convention versions of Dreadwing and Smoke Jumper. Yeah. Or Dreadwing and Smoke Seed, I should say. And yes, we do have the little drone one. Uh, he's in here somewhere. There's at least one. There might be two or more. Wow, I, that's incredibly rare. I mean, mine like is kind of rare enough, but the blue version, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of movie lockdown, not that one. Oh yeah. Is this guy fairly common, or is he difficult to find? Um, he's tricky to find. I believe the Axa repaint is harder to get because he tends to command a, a higher price. Really? I believe we've got one somewhere. Yeah, I, I feel like Axor is everywhere. I've seen a lot of him for sale, but not so much this lockdown. Is that Stratosphere's butt in there as well? That is, in fact, GDO. Ah, uh, <gasps> oh, it's Lugna! He's a little crumbled up. He's in boulder mode. He's in storage boulder mode. But um, that's a wonderful thing, and I'm sure there'll be a few happy phases to see this lad. Human Alliance Jazz, I think? Yep. Um, oh, yeah, the purple slug. Yep. And... Dozens of other thingies. I think there's a highbrow. Yeah. Yeah. That's the 07 Voyager Optimus. Yep. That's one of my favourite things ever. I love that guy. The uh, OG dropkick. Yeah. Two uh, of them. That's another. Oh yeah. Another <laughs> dropkick. Three. Ah, and there's Axa. Oh yeah, Axa. Hell yeah. With the uh, spiky ceiling, and we have um, long arm in there as well. Not a rare creature, but plenty of affection for that thing. 
That is quite a box. I think I've seen, is that the original Duck the Moon Soundwave too? Yeah, that ain't the studio one, is it? I mean, there's spaces for a Cyberverse weapon on top. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, well, uh... what was it called? Mech Tech? Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. So we're, we're hooked up for the good movie stuff. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. And bang on. Three further boxes here. We've got G1s, looks like. We've got a gold bug. G1s and G2s. Yeah. Oh, that's a Snapdragon in there. Yep. Looks like we have a laser prime on the go. We do. We got a lot of micro masters. Yes. A lot of Rod squad. Military squad. Micro masters. Squad, squad, squad. Are these the very same ones from last year? <laughs> uh, nope, this is a whole new set. Uh, oh. Yeah, and as soon as we opened on... Clench! Oh god, that's lovely. I did part with my clench the other year, which I bought off you in 2015. For £15, but it was in horrendous <laughs> shape. But this... Oof! That is a bit lovely. It's just so badass, man. Six Builder. Uh, oh, Six yeah. Builder? Oh. Is that the uh, Japanese version? That's the one I'm familiar with, the Devastator yeah. colours. So the uh, alternate version, the uh, six builder version, that is our site. Uh, six turbo. Six turbo, hell yes. Someone. Accelerators, that's, uh, we've got Scram, Turbo Fire, and uh, Rapido. Ah, there's the other clench. Oh, the other clench. There's his bum end. Got an iron hide in there, G2 Superion. Yes, there is a bag of dust that used to be a slingshot. <laughs> that is... Who's that? That's Flash in the Double Masters. Oh yeah, Flash. I always forget about him. Oh, you know what? She is a boss. Brown and Hurricane. He's, he's boss. boss. Hell yeah. Is that a dark wing? Yep. I'm not sure how those wings work. I'm not going to force it. Oh, that's okay. Oh? They, yeah, they go. Oh, they just go. Yep, they just go. God, that's pretty. Oh, I love Transformers. <laughs> Double dealer in there. Ultra Magnus clearly skipped over him, but Ultra Magnus is... <gasps> Road Grabber! Yes, yes mate! Road Grabber, the uh, cockroach of, uh, of G1 Transformers. No matter, <laughs> no matter what we do, we will always have one or two Road Grabbers. Look, Road yeah, Grabber's so a treasure, all right? I love that guy. Is that uh, GoBot Stacks down there as well? Yeah, it only it bloody is. Yeah, Chromie, oh. love it. Oh, and um, Electro, is it? Uh, oh. That's Volt. He sadly got a broken clip across yeah. his back there, so that's not going to stay on. Not to worry. And there's a set of UK released Dynabots down there as well. Gorgeous. The and a Calcar, sadly with no gun. <laughs> Calcar. Uh, Beast Hunters and RID action. Straight in with Thunderhoof. Makes a great beard comb, does that lad. What's the deal with all these Sky Stalkers? I don't know. What's that? One, two, three, nine uh, or ten of those? Uh, nine, I believe. Christ. So, and picking out this gentleman who is from Transformers Go, he's one of the repaints of a beast under the Yes. Side. Well, with a different head. Gaidara, isn't he it? looks rather fun. Yeah. Gaidara or Budara, one of those guys. Yeah. He is extremely cool. Very nice, light piped head. God, look at that. He's furious. We've got nice. a few Dark Energon fellas in there. Dead There's end. The Bit of drift. Black Bumblebee, as you do. Black Bumblebee? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's cool. We have, oops. We always struggle for Prime Bulkhead. He's just not an easy one to find, which is good because apparently someone also wanted an army build him. So I got one, I got two, I got three. There's another one in here somewhere. I think it's the Takara version because it's got darker green. Okay. And we've got a box for a first edition one, so I assume there is one somewhere. Great. <laughs> it's a good figure, the old R.I.D. bulkhead. I don't know why everybody... I think everybody wrote it off a bit quick because the first edition one was better. But this is still great. Oh, yeah. Classic. Mm. Prime Voyager Megatron. We have a uh, Predaking. We've got a Dreadwind or two, haven't we? This one is getting a uh, leader class update pretty soon, isn't he? So uh, interesting to see the genesis of this design. Is one of these Takara? I assume it must be. Oh, somebody out there is going to know. Anybody in the comments hit us up. Let us know what is the difference between these Dreadwinds. <laughs> I see a guy in the corner. And what Optimus is this? Oh, that is a uh, Year of the Snake, I think. Year of the Snake Prime Optimus. God, I've never seen that. That's very odd. It's kind of a vibe, though. This is a cool sort of mermaid RC. Oh, yeah, yeah, very sort of aquatic lines. Yeah. Box the third. Oh my god, the colours on this. Whoo! Arady Scourge. Pine Rad, the only Transformer with articulated testicles. <laughs> Standard. Uh, what's that? Transformers Cackle. I just really like... The, the animal mode. Gosh, so much purple in this box. Let's, uh, yeah, that's the uh, Black Arachnia. Transmetal oh. 2 Black Arachnia. Transmetal 2. And all her glory and grandeur. 
Hello, baby. God, that is fabulous, actually. What is that, Ultra Class? Um, boy, uh, Mega. Mega. Razor Claw, the Tiger Hawk repaint. I see a Transmetal Tarantulas in here. Yes, two sets of God, ne God Neptune from Beast Wars 2nd. Oh, two of them. I don't know if they all have accessories, but I'll dig through it and make sure. Great. Uh, there's Galvatron. Beast Wars 2nd Galvatron. Beast Wars 2nd Galvatron. Uh, gold parts seem to be intact. Great. Um, Universe Optimus Primal. The Nemesis Primal, sorry. That's the black iteration of Big Convoy. Yeah, a big convoy. Very evil mammoth. And that's God. Telemocha Megatron with the lovely uh, TV styled uh, paint scheme. God, that's rad. Yeah. Is this BB? Oh, yeah. The Black Dreadwind. That is stunning. Wind shear? Oh, that's cool. Think, yeah, it's one of the uh, flip changer jets that came with uh, skids in RID 2001. It was a twin pack that weren't distributed in the UK. You couldn't get them. I believe you. Beast Machines Thrust, or is it? Beast Machines Thrust and Thrust. Black Arachnia. Oh yeah, and Black Arachnia. Mm. We have Matt Kick over there in the corner, yep. facing the corner in shame, as well he should. Detest that toy. Just, oh god, that's my favourite assortment of colours I've ever seen. Ooh, Cybertron boys! Yeah. Fairly sure this is Sonic Bomber, because he's got the chrome chest plate. Yes. Um, all of his bits and his nice chrome swords as well. The blades are there. The Sorry, I've been distracted by this uh, custody brown Vector Prime. That's fine. He's there. He's, you can tell he's a Hasbro release because he's got slightly rubbery wings. That is the Japanese uh, Vector Prime. This is the oh. bulkhead, the red bulkhead. That's, yeah, that's Quick Strike. He, quick strike. he did not get a UK release. Nah. Back in the day, uh, he's a red version of Quickstrike. I don't remember the last time I saw one in person. He's got the whole um, backpack scenario. Yep, That's a wonderful toy. I have the bulkhead and it's great. <gasps> we got uh, Micron Legend Shockwave. Uh -huh. And underneath that, you'll be able to see the feet of uh, John Wing Saber. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yep. Amazing. Timelines, I see. Is this the Shark to Oh, yes, it is. We got a set of three Shark Oh, excellent. Yep. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> in the original Botcon box. Yep, in Stunning. exclusive baggy. Is that how you spell souvenir? Does it mm. normally have that extra E on the end? Souvenir. Mm. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, big fat Energon Optimus. I see Cybertron Snarl. Okay. Thundercracker. Some jet blokes. Let's move oh. it. Let's keep it moving. There's the, uh, the green. Iteration of your man. Yeah, Overlord. Overload. 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 Load, yep. rather. Devastator lads. Yep. And a sound wave. Can't forget Cybertron sound wave. Kraken figure. Just to let the audience know, I've expressed my grievances at letting Nick do all the lifting, but he basically <laughs> insisted. Timelines. Um, Nexus Maximus. <gasps> with uh, the various upgrades from Fans Project. The original heads are there as well. And the Fans Project uh, limbs. So we got the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a couple wow. of each of these. I can't even keep track of which version's which, but the point is, Energon Bruticus Maximus, yeah. rare weird one, do you want it? Armada Air Razor is that? Yep. We've got Cheetor as well, who was in the following wave, I think. That's the Fans Project Munitioner, is it? Yep. Oh god, it just keeps going. We have every single version of this Bruticus you've ever seen. There's <laughs> Cybertron Optimus there, and uh... Jolt! All Spark Power Jolt! Um, drop shot in the back. More uh, oh, uh, Scorponok. That's, that's Megazarak. That's the Japanese colours. Megazarak, is it? Yeah. Um, Armada Wheeljack. Yes. Yeah, with his big scratchy badge. Yep. There's always one of those in these videos. <laughs> what's, <Only. laughs> what's this big chunky guy here? That's part of Energon Cliffjumper. Oh, right. We saw two of those earlier on as part of the Energon monster. We did, Remember? didn't we? Yes, there he is. Yep. Imagine he's the other way up. There's my boy. Yes, that's hardtop. This is the one they brought back to Cyberverse, wasn't it? Uh... Uh, Earthspark. Uh, yeah. This is the one they brought back for <laughs> Earthspark, wasn't it? I definitely got that right. Oh, so I forgot. We're in after I ran out of turkey boxes to put things in. Oh my god! We've got some crackers in here. Whoa! So we got uh, Adventures. Uh, repaints of steel jaw. That is stunning. The crack, isn't he? Yeah. God damn, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It, Very it, sort of pants and wingspan vibe. Yeah. The real cracker. Our friend depth charge. Yeah, stunner. This is another. Um, what is that? Macros. Valkyrie? Yeah, that's one of them. I don't remember which one it is. It's one of the DF19s, maybe. I couldn't tell you, but I love it. 
I'll that is you. rad! Good God! I'll find out in a little. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, arms Micron RC. We arms have, Micron RC. We have nearly every Arms Micron toy, I think. Another uh, Adventures, I think. Yeah, Nemesis uh, Optimus. Optimus. It's got to do every construction vehicle in Constructed on Green. <laughs> God, you could really get a setup here, couldn't you? Oh, get the older, uh, every single Devastator figure. I don't remember the last time I saw one of these. It's Master Galvatron. Galaxy Force Master Galvatron. Yep. Oh, that's a bit nasty. He's so shiny. So monochrome, so uh, so very murder dolls. <laughs> Was it Aaron Archer recently came out and said that this guy and Sideways were designed because Batman Beyond was popular. <laughs> that would make sense. Whoa, okay, I see Bulkhead in the corner down yep. there. The paint of Already Sideburn. Sideburn, yep. Yeah. It's one of the universe version. Speaking of universe versions, I believe that's Inferno in the corner there. Oh yeah. The original um, uh, San Diego, I think. Iteration of uh, Prime Elsie. Yeah. In, in the right, uh, original RC colours. Very cute. Well, that's, that's a repaint of Cybertron. Crosswise, Crosswise isn't it? That's the one. But a smokescreen, that's really cool. How often do you see a Primal Prime? Yeah, there was Optimal Optimus and Primal Prime, and I always thought that was really tacky and stupid, but isn't it great? <laughs> He's in there somewhere, under that prowl. There he is. Furious Monkey Man. I also see Legends Shockwave, Ooh. Cybertron Override in there as well, I think. Just see her legs. Yep. Um, Transmetal 2 Megatron, enormous deal. Th that, that is what that is, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> There's his face. Some kind of version of Swerve. Unbelievable quarterback hench build for this <laughs> daft little character. Put him next to one of those strafes, he'll look banging. Let's have a quick peek at this thing. So this is mostly Chug. Yep. I see uh, Skyjack in there, is it? Yep. Uh, got Roadbuster, Breakaway, I think, from All Shark Power, the Cybertron hotshot fella. Yep, we've got several of those. As Getaway. Ah, this is a VF1A. VF1A, Macross, is yes, it? Yes, it's a 25th anniversary one, I think, from the early 2000s. Oh, I love Macross. There's definitely something going on there. Real quick, though, we have Bludgeon with the fresh head, Nemesis Optimus, uh, Orion Pax, Cyclonus, and some other stuff. All right, that's yeah, fine. Oh, and that Megatron. Yeah. That's cool. You get it. That's what's in there. This is, as far as I can tell, a complete set of power core combiners. <laughs> uh, here are some mini cons. There's more in there. There's more, even more in a bag over here. Um, we've got at least one set of everything. There's at least two sets of the Dinobots, which I've found so far. <gasps> so stunning. We'll have a couple of Dino Pokes. So just handy. every power core combiner yeah. is, oh. Uh, oh yeah, there he is. Heavy Tread. My boy. Love yeah, that yeah. guy. He's a little bit wobbly. <laughs> That's an excellent toy when he's not completely crumpled up. <laughs> Brilliant. What the hell variant is that? Uh, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, Nick has whipped us up a Minicom display. This is the Minicom stockpile, I suppose. Is there any rhyme or reason to this plethora? Not as far as I can tell. Most people know this guy, that's Perceptor, yes. from the original Street Action Team. Uh, less common is this iteration that was only available with the Universe Sunstorm. Whoa. Yeah. C-Team, common. C-Team repaints, less common. Uh, Energon, um... Yep. 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 All the iterations I'm aware of, of the Air Military team, they're quite fun. So four different versions of these same three guys. Uh, I think Very Skywarpy vibe. Top and bottom are the same, I think. This one uh, some kind of uh, Japanese store exclusive, I think. Little little uh, jelly dinosaur. Fire dino. As you do. I've seen that mould before. I had a knockoff of it many years ago, I think. <laughs> Could say that about a lot of these toys, though. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, some universe, some uh, matter. Uh, oh, that's neat. Oh, never seen that one. Oh, I recognise him. Yeah, he's the same as uh, this fella back here. Yeah. With his tire legs. Uh, this is one of the repaints of the Street Speed team, of which there are numerous iterations. Yeah. And I think some of them came with the Armada repaints, so I'll need to check who's who and make sure I don't sell them off. Who's this different. taxi here? Oh, that is um, the unfortunately named Discharge. Ah! <laughs> yeah, one, ah. of the, one of the universe uh, iterations. 
I saw a discharge opening for the Wild Hearts last year. God, we could do this all day. Yeah. In fact, we are doing this all day. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah, th those are the same mould, aren't they? That one's a little different. I, I'm, I used to have a blue one of this. Yeah, no, I it's definitely in here somewhere. <laughs> that is the stealth version of the Cybertron Street Action Team. This is one of the other ones. Oh yeah, look at that! C3 Jelly Boys! Yeah, had the third one. Don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. At a convention, there's no finer uh, impulse purchase than a Mini Con or a MicroMaster. Oh, look at this one. There's a Whoa. repaint of the Emergency Team. That's like an Osprey. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, hang on. That's another. Oh, a yellow one! Of, uh... Ah! That's so cute! That's very Blaze Master! <laughs> There's the third one. Oh, Brill! I love that. That's a Porsche, Ooh. isn't it? Porsche Racer. And... Fantastic. Oh, they're so good. I really love the helicopter. He's so good. Look at that. Look at all these goddamn minicons. Swing by Toy Fu. Chuck them a fiver and walk away with a bunch of these. And finally, where have these boxes come from? Is the, yeah, I don't know either. Thought uh, you might get a kick out of some of the uh, the Rise of the Beasts gear. Oh, hey. I can't keep it. I've got to move, you know. So <laughs> we have the Bumblebee face mask, which uh, I'm not going to make you put it on, but it would be pretty funny. Oh. But uh, it's one of those ones that, uh, oh, right? Ow. It's very uncomfortable. Mm. Oh. Ow. I'm so sorry about this. All right. <laughs> if you're over three years old, I think you've got no chance. It's actually really interesting the way it works. It transforms legitimately into a whole ass bumblebee. But if I can just show you this real quick. Oh, this head pops out of his chin. So you have a peculiar bumblebee abomination. Oh, with that's a... fine. I think oh, that doesn't look uh, like some sort of fractal Lovecraftian horror at all. No, it's, <laughs> fine. it's the least spooky thing I've ever seen. Hmm. We also have the Optimus Primal one. Hey. Which uh, is great fun, and make, it makes you look a lot more miserable. Comedy and tragedy in it, right there. <laughs> the auto changer. Put the arms down, put the thumb down, and then put the waist. Yep. Then we can flip it back just by this. Oh, great. Awesome. That's the way you just smack it on the feet, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So there you go. Go and pick it up at Toy Fu. We have an extra kill trumpet, snap trap. I think that's Telemocha rat trap. Scare him as well. Transmetal do scare him in very vivid pink. This must be some kind of being. I'm not sure, honestly. But, that interests uh, me. Hopefully, it interests someone else. Dark of the Moon Megatron down there with a bit of a custom paint job. Um, Voyager Class Sentinel Prime. This is the 2011 one, I think. Voyager Class The Fallen, 2009 version. He's all right for a giggle, for a cheeky pickup. The Last Night Hot Rod. Why not, eh? Cheeky R.I.D. Is it Deployer Fracture? I think it is. Yeah, the not bad. Old Minicon launcher there. Very fun fella. Yep. Uh, we've got Dark of the Moon Thundercracker. Universe Leo Prime. Yep. Lovely stuff. Now I know who that other tail belongs to. Oh, there you go. It's oh. research. Yeah. Just kind of a, a lot of random bits and bobs in the bottom. There's a G1 Shaw shot hey. with uh, with some titties. Commander Class Blackout. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a great toy. Yeah. There's his uh, Scorponok as well. Rise of the Beasts promo t-shirt there. I got that in a box the other day and it's, uh, I am not slim enough for that, but somebody is. Yeah, it's, it's very you. Extra box from Theo HQ. First of all, these uh, badges, these were from a point of sale, like a, a retail stand in the Netherlands, I think. Um, yeah, they Velcroed onto the stand like that. And um, I don't know why uh, the Decepticon one is red, but whatever. Is it shattered glass? Who cares? <laughs> They'll look cool in somebody's house. Yeah. Blue. Hey. <laughs> Another one of him, <laughs> whatever his name was. He's cool. He is cool. He... Another Skystalker. Excellent. Would you oh. like a tenth one of him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Adventures. Uh... Something. I can't remember any of their names. I'm sorry. It's the purple Skystalker. And uh, there's the white one as well. I think the white one, was it Skylinks? Skylinks, yep. Seeker trio of those guys. Oh, that. is this another uh, Rise of the Beasts? Yes, that is Beast Mode Bumblebee. Oh. Uh, it's a banging toy, actually. It's got, um, I've put batteries in it. Had to uh, transform this real quick just to show you what it does. Could be a hit with, uh, with the crowd, because uh, it does this. <laughs> ah, love it. Armada Skywarp. Oh, with both wings. All yep. You can see. Beast Hunters Predaking on the go. We've got his missile launchers too. Uh, 
I think they clip onto his wings. I'm sure you know better than I do. <laughs> Not sure what that is. I think it's a rescue. No, a, a play school gobot. Oh. I th but it might be a knockoff of a play school gobot. It's a cute robot oh. with like Trailbreaker's head. And have you got one pound fifty for it? Bit more Beast Hunters love. We got this guy again, kind of a Ninja Turtle vibe. The Vertebrake who is green. R.I.D. 2015. I think he's called Electro Strike or Night Strike Bumblebee. Still there, nice. One of those. Yeah. Pretty cool, with accompanying Optimus Prime. Hey. Nothing wrong with that. With axe? Yes, got his axe. Quite love that guy. Oh. Ultra or Mega Class Shockwave? I forget. But he's a big old Shockwave toy, and his, uh, his crab tank mode is amazing. Avenger the Fallen Devastator? It is, in a bag. Yep. Everybody's in there, all eight of them, ready to go, ready to figure out. He's a fun puzzle, and a very daft toy. That is Heat Wave. Spring load. Yeah. Toy. Bit of spring load. Get I more. think you pull his legs like laterally. Like, yeah, like that. Yeah. Kind of like that. Uh, but uh, there uh, it goes. <laughs> Ridiculous thing. Bit more Rise of the Beast, Optimus Primal, and Skull Cruncher. Um, where it's a monkey wearing an alligator. Fantastic. Really daft toy. Really fun focused sort of, <laughs> sort of thingy. And uh, definitely worth a go. Cyber Battalion Shockwave, oh, that is. Thought so, yeah. Yeah. That vibe. Very nice looking toy. Very um, sort of entry level transformation. But isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a that's a three D printed Bumblebee action figure. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah these were from oh god, what were they called? Arcade Prints. Yes, they they gave these to me. Three uh, D printed. Uh, Cybertron mode Bumblebee, there's a jazz in there as well. Oh, Just wow. a nice big single block of plastic chumbly um, Cybertron mode jazz. Uh, and a, it's not quite Action Masters, that Bumblebee, but it's similar. Just a nice little articulated sort of four inch action figure of B. Why not? Very stubby. It's yeah. solid and the, the ball joints and things hold together better than I would expect for a CD printed figure. It's, uh, it's yeah. really impressive job. Yeah, he doesn't feel DIY, does he? Hmm. That's some of a guzzle. Yes. <laughs> yeah, junk a guzzle, juzzle. Oh, those are contrails for the Siege Seeker Jets. Oh. A Unicron. Oh, hello. <laughs> a mirror that says all hail Unicron. I think that's pretty cute. That's a nice uh, sort of coaster desk thingy. What's in there, Nick? He's, he's a big fella. <laughs> he is not small. Oh dear. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, animatronic Optimus Primal from Rise of the Beasts. I think those are still brand new, so um, I don't know how many, I don't know if they're actually at retail. Flip that on. Greetings. I'm Optimus Primal, leader of the Maximals. Hello. Quite an amazing thing, and I'm sure someone will get a kick out of it on the Toy Food stand. Whether you want to sell it or just keep it as a mascot. <laughs> I don't think we'll have any trouble passing this on to a, an eager customer. Absolutely. Probably sell it to Gav Spence. Yeah, probs. <laughs> but yeah, that thing's out. Like, I don't think it's even on shelves yet, so... Uh... Sort of a scarce item and uh, tons of fun. I did an unboxer on it recently and it, it gave me some incredible back chat. That's about it for today, I reckon, isn't it? Probably enough. I reckon so, yeah. And I reckon that'll wrap us up for another year. Uh, this is the uh, Toifu stock that's uh, going to be appearing at TF Nation this year. Um, possibly not all of it, because there's enough for about three, to three years worth of stands, <laughs> I reckon. But uh, that should give you some idea of the sort of quality and standard that we uh, that we try and aim for with the Toifu stand. And uh, cheers for having me, and uh, thanks for letting me have a look. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for the promotion. Uh, we'll see everyone in August, and we'll take all your money. <laughs> they will. He's not even kidding. Also, if you're in the market for uh, Transformers artwork or merch other than toys, uh, be sure to stop off at Chess and Claude's workshop at TFN. They are great. They have all manner of bits and bobs. They've got lanyards, they've got stickers, they've got shaky things. I don't know <laughs> what they're called, but they're great, and they're very popular, and they should be more popular. So please stop by and give them whatever money you have left after coming to us. They should, yes. They'll, they'll be in the forge, won't they? Yes. Marvellous. But yes, uh, TF Nation 2023, 11th to 13th of August, if we decide. Yeah, it's at the Hilton Metropole, and it's great. And there's loads kicking off. See you then! Oh, hey!
it's me again, once again on the camera phone, uh, just joining you from the uh, laundry, because uh, I haven't got the office set up in the new place yet, so uh, down here for the time being. But cheers for watching, just about got that one out in time for DF Nation. Uh, thanks to uh, the patrons and cheers to everybody for the amazing response to the Unicron video. And a big patron shout out this time to uh, DJ Cheese Nips. <laughs> Party on gang, check you soon. Be sure to subscribe for more Thu's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.